Hey guys, I'm Cameron from Graphics Runs, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to create cinematic effects in your videos. As you can see, this is a video shot with Canon T3i, but you can see that it's just uh, like a simple video. Um, no that kind of quality in it. Um, so I'm just going to be doing is adding some crazy cinematic effects so that it looks brilliant. So let's get started with this. First you have to do is to create a new adjustment layer. So let's do this and here. Now go for effects and the cinematic effects will be inside color correction um, menu. So go for curves. Here um, just tweak out uh, the way you like the color like I'm going for decreasing the red to increase the greens to give it a, uh, a gloomy garden look and then increasing the green a little bit and then going for blue decreasing it now I need a sharpie contrast so for that I will go for RGB uh, increasing the curve like this from above and decreasing it to increase the contrast you want and then go for effect color correction and exposure here you can increase the con contrast a little bit more by decreasing the gamma correction here just pretty much this uh, like this and this is fine okay and then go for effect fade color correction and hue saturation because uh, this looks oversaturated right now uh, so I have to decrease the master saturation a little bit just uh, the way you like it alright uh, so I think this is better no, just a little bit th that much. Yeah, this is better. So now I'm going for creating a vignette effect. For that, go for layer, new solid, uh, wait for it. And we have to create a black solid, pure black solid for that. So there you go. Now select from here the eclipse tool and double click on that eclipse tool to create an e eclipse. Now go for the mask in the mask tab here and change the blending mode to subtract so that this is a kind of injective but this is um, too much sharper so we have to go for mask and feather it a little bit the way you like it I think this is nice and decrease the opacity a little bit to give it a nice tintish look now just uh, we have to do is to create that um, upper and downward black lines like in movies so for that you have to create a new solid layer new um, solid it will be a black solid now hide it by disabling the eye option okay now you have to go for here um, to choose a grid and we will go for proportional grid so that we can get the correct me measurements now you have to click here uh, and select the rectangle tool and more precisely just you have to do is to create two boxes upward and downward and then the magic will happen so yeah pretty much this much okay this is done now enable this to be viewed and you can see um, disabling the grid okay and you can see this is creating a nice view but uh, some of the area has been cut so what to do with that so for that uh, we have to do is to uh, select all our layers including the vignette effect no just just exclude that no need for that and select all the layers including the adjustment layer and control shift C and create a pre-composition here or, all right and now you have to do is to scale it down a little bit so you can do the scale it down but it gets overstretched so just stretch a little bit all back into the direction the way you like it and it will look pretty much nicer now just a nice filmish look here and you can see uh, it looks a more like cinematic effect so go for a tryout with different colors um, like you can see we can change the colors here by just selecting the adjustment layer resetting the curves and going for some yellowish look here like this one and decreasing the blue and then uh, we have to go for saturation and decrease this a little bit and then when we come out 
we get a different filmish look so you can just tweak it the way you want to get it um so that's all for today guys uh make sure you subscribe and uh, check all our videos daily and uh, support us because we need your support uh give a like and bye